Alright, welcome back with another Super Nintendo game I used to play as a kid. It's the Terminator, Terminator 1. I had some troubles with this recording again because uh, it's kind of tricky, right? It has something to do with uh, computers and the uh, math and, you know, integrals and, uh, you know, this other math shit. Yeah. Uh, vector ge uh, ge vector geometry, <laughs> all this shit, coordinate, coordinate matrix. Okay, so I think I got it set now. I think I got it uh, set now, yeah, I think I got it. I think I got the order clear. So, Terminator 1, a game that was under the ice, right? We all know the game, we all know the movie. Uh, we especially all know Terminator 2, right? People from my age, they all know Terminator 2. Uh, yeah, what can I say, you know, uh, how did it start? So yeah, this movie is about uh, Sarah Connor, and uh, it's about Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese, a guy who was sent from the future, as you can see here, Los Angeles, a uh, guy who was sent uh, from the future to the past to, I don't know, protect Sarah Connor from this Terminator, because uh, there's like this... The, 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 in the future, the machines are waging a war against mankind. So they send this machine uh, after this woman, and uh, he's supposed to protect her. And uh, afterwards, they brought Terminator 2. A really, I mean, a very, very successful movie. I think it's like one of the. I'm okay, you know, it's maybe not the. It used to be the most successful movie of all times, right? Um, of course, the limit has been broken by other movies, Avatar, um, or uh, you know these Disney movies, right? Anyway, but you cannot uh, you cannot deny the fact you cannot deny the you know the fact that this Terminator 2 was really the movie that sold the most VHS tapes, and you cannot you cannot change that you cannot undo that. So Terminator 2 really is the movie that sold the most VHS tapes right maybe not maybe not DVD maybe not blu-ray right but VHS and that is an unchangeable fact so uh, that has some kind of value it really does some historic value historical value so you look in human encyclopedia right <laughs> And somewhere right encoded, somewhere there encoded is um, Terminator 2, right? T2. I think it's what they call it, right? T2. Somewhere there encoded in human encyclopedia, right? Terminator 2, the movie that sold the most VHS tapes. Think about that. Think about that. So I remember, like, as a kid. Oh, God. I remember as a kid, um. It's hot outside, man. It's so fucking hot. Uh, I remember as a kid uh, watching uh, part one and two in, in, in continuance, right? They were airing it in Germany. So, you know, the entire country was sitting in front of the television watching Terminator 1 and recording Terminator 1 on VHS. And afterwards, Terminator 2. So they aired it uh, at uh, 8 p.m. And then Terminator 2, I think around about 10 p.m., you know what I mean? And I fell asleep. So I didn't watch Terminator 2 in full for the, f a a the first time. So uh, I think they aired it a year later again. And then I was able to watch the movie on my own, right? But, I mean, the entire nation was sitting in front of the television watching Terminator. So every German, every German actually knows... <laughs> Every German knows, you know, fucking Terminator. And every German knows what a fucking Terminator is. Now, um... So, you know, as a kid... Excuse me. As a kid, you know, you were watching Terminator 1. And, uh... You know, it, it, it was kind of like a horror movie. I wouldn't say it's, it was action. Like in part two, you know, you saw the action, you saw the guns, right? You heard the guns, you saw, you know, the faces of everybody, right? The expressions, the facial expressions of everybody, right? You know, you saw John Connor and, you know, you didn't see John Connor actually being afraid. Not in that sense, right? He was more like... So you didn't see the fear in his face, right? You saw more like the anxiety. And he was kind of nervous, but he wasn't afraid. 
Not in that sense, right? Not like Sarah Connor in part one. You know what I mean? How she was afraid and she's like, yeah, what a great, uh, what a great mother I am, right? If I'm supposed to, like, you know, br give birth to the leader of, of the human resistance. You know what I mean? So, you know. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, God. So, um. So the f part one was under the ice, definitely under the ice, and it was more like, to me, it was more like a horror. It was more like horror, science fiction horror in that sense. Because, you know, you're a kid and you're watching this movie, right, and, you know, you see it starts out normal, and then, like, you see him, like, uh, I, I think you say, like, you see him beat up these punks and shit, okay. And then he's ripping out the heart of somebody, and you're thinking like, okay, what's his ambition, what's his goal? And then you, you find out what his goal is, his goal is to kill a woman, right? So he goes to the telephone booth, he picks out the phone book, and then he looks for Sarah Connor, right? So there are many Sarah Connors, and then he kills every Sarah Connor until, you know, until there's no Sarah Connor left. You know what I mean? And so he shoot. He goes to a gun store, and then you know he gets these guns, and he shoots the guy in the face, right? And you know there's an un there's an uncut version of this movie, and I I think actually the first time I saw this movie, it was actually uncut, or was it the second time? I can't remember. But I remember watching this movie as a kid, and I remember you know him shooting the guy in the fucking face, right? in the gun store and then yeah you know there was this one scene where uh, there was uh, this one scene where he was uh, ringing a doorbell right and are you Sarah Connor yes and then he like I think I remember shot shooting the woman in the face bullet to the head I don't know anyway to me this game was like horror and I gotta blow my nose man this is terrible nothing's going the way it's supposed to go Ugh. thousand apologies all right let's start the fucking game I'm trying to recollect what I said before all right, you start off so if you don't know the movie you do not know what's going on here this is supposed to be Kyle Reese he looks like this like looks like fucking Contra right he has uh, I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be um, I think X were the grenades so here we have these mines where are they? Man, in the foreground you can see like debris and human skulls. In the background you can see, uh, you know, atom bomb. Looks like Dixieville, right? Or it looks like that. It looks like this. Uh, looks like a Dixie fire hit. Hit this place, right? <laughs> That's the way it looks, man. Look at this. So they come in. Yeah, they, they hide. Terminator's hide. Terminator's hiding me in. I got grenades. So you know, as a kid, you watch the first movie and thinking like, how do we stop these fucking Terminators, man? Because you, know, you saw the machine and fuck, you saw the machine and then you know you had to run, right? You had to run and then you know you were hiding from the machine and and the machine tried to find you and when it found you you had to run again right you had no means of destroying these fucking machines 
So uh, my idea was like, you know, hit him with a grenade launcher, right? Because, you know, you saw Kyle Reese use the pipe bomb and explosion, uh, explosive to like blow it in two. And look at, he's waiting. Ah, oh, man, I remember this so well. Really, he's wait. He knows I want to get that. And this is the first time... This is the first time he's actually doing this. This is the first time the game is actually doing this. Uh, we gotta address this. Let me th let me talk. Um, getting orders straight. That's right. Uh, vector geom geometry, coordinate matrix. Uh, so yeah, my my idea was when I watched the movie as a kid, right? I was discussing with my brothers, right, how how to de how to beat a Terminator, right? How to defeat a Terminator? How to defeat this machine? And my idea was like, you know, hit him with a grenade launcher. And then my older brother was like, ah, that's nonsense, man. You know, it's me it's made out of metal, right? You you wouldn't even put a dent in it, so to say, right? You know, and because grenades have shrapnel and shrapnel, you know, hurts human flesh, but not metal and shit. But we clearly saw how Kyle Reese used a pipe bomb to like, you know, blow him in two. So uh, then the other one, then the other one had an idea like hit him with a truck. You know, saying let's hit him with a truck, because the impact, you know, would 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 crush the metal. Right, and I think that was the conclusion, the, 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 the most realistic conclusion for everybody to hit him with a truck. But my idea was it to use a goddamn grenade launcher, right? So maybe the grenade launcher wasn't, you know, uh, precise enough, so maybe you should hit him with a rocket launcher, right? I mean, yeah. But anyway, as a kid, you know, you wanted to know how to beat these Terminators. Because, you know, if you don't know how to beat them, you're just going to have to run for the rest of your life. Right? You, you would run like a fucking rat. The same here in the future, right? If these people would know how to beat them, they would have to run all the fucking time. So, I don't want to talk about that right now, you know, this war against the machines and how, how it's financed. You know what I mean? Or how it's supported. But going back to the movie, you know, to me, this was like a horror movie. You know what I'm saying? Like these horror movies. You gotta you got you got some kind of evil thing, right, that wants to kill you, that wants to spread fear and horror. And you know, you run from it until you know until you find out how to kill it. And in the end you kill the fucking thing and it's a an happy end. I mean that those were the eighties horror movies, right? I mean really. You know what I mean? If it's Freddy Krueger. Got this Freddy Krueger, he does this kind of shit, you don't know how to kill him, and then you find out how to beat him, and in the end you beat him, and then, you know, it's kind of like a happy ending, sort of say. Sort of like. And I gotta go back. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! What the fuck, man? Oh, I need that! Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is that sound? I was thinking like, maybe that's Kyle Reese's uh, stomach growling. There we go. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Fuck that shit. So as a kid, I was watching. Uh, as, as a kid, I was playing this. My brother borrowed the mo borrowed the movie, borrowed the video game from uh, from a friend, and he borrowed it for weeks. And he didn't even play it, man. The game. He was actually giving me the game. He actually borrowed, kind of like borrowed the game from me, as if I was supposed to play this game, right? And I played it, and I wasn't able to beat it. And that, I held, I held a grudge. That kind of grudged me, man, because I wasn't able to beat the game because of a simple minor mistake because a simple minor fact I overlooked I didn't realize that I what I would what I, what I had to do and it was in the police department in this level right you had to look for Sarah Connor and the way to look for her is to open the goddamn doors and the way to open the goddamn doors is to go to the door and press the up directional uh, uh, direction on the d-pad right and I, I never knew it so that's as far as I got in the game as a kid and it wasn't until I was in college and I played the game on the emulator, right? I discovered the emulator. And I played the game again. And then, you know, I, then I, that's when I found out how to do that shit. 
and you know, I was like, I was, I was so grudging. I was like, man, this cannot, this cannot have happened. I was like, really like, I gotta go back in time and tell myself how to beat the game, right? That I gotta open those goddamn doors. I was so fucking grudging, you can't believe it. Because I made it my top, I made it, I made it one of my top priorities as a kid. You know, when I was seven, 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 eight years old, I made it a top priority as a kid to beat this game. And, you know, I, I actually was capable of beating it. I was speed running this bitch, you know what I mean? I really, I was speed running this bitch because, you know, there are no, uh, you know, there are no safe states here. So, you know, I was trial and error, trial and error. I tried again and I tried again and I tried again. I invested a lot of energy in playing this game. And I wasn't able to beat it because of one minor simple fact, right? And then you grow up, right? You're you're a, you're a young you're a young adult, and then you play the game again, and then you find out, and you use save states, right? And then you find out what you did wrong back in the past. So my first response was, man, I got to go back in the past, and I got to tell myself what to do so that you know I so correct my error, right? I mean, really. What was I? Oh yeah, the machine. So yeah, the special feature this game has is, uh, in the beginning at least, the Terminators really act um, act as if they have intelligence, right? This game has some kind of algorithm in it, some kind of hidden algorithm that makes the Terminators act as if they interact with you, right? With the player. So uh, it's hard to it's hard to tell, right? It's hard to explain. I mean, you know, you got these Super Nintendo games and the enemies act generic and typical because they were programmed in a linear way, right? Linear. But here it's like... Here it's like they act... I don't know, they act strategically. Right? They really act strategically in an algorithm that is programmed that is programmed in an algorithm, right? Strategic thinking, you know, in, in this kind of game. So you could actually say, like, you know, you, you know these third-person shooters, right? You know third-person shooters, you know first-person shooters, yeah. I mean, for example, you know Doom, right? You know Doom, and, you know, you, you hear an enemy, and the enemy is somewhere, and then as soon as the enemy sees you, right? So you got enemies patrolling, okay? But, you know, as soon as the enemy sees you, they walk towards you, and that's it. Right? That's it. So, you know, you never saw an enemy in Doom, let's say, guarding... Let's say, guarding some kind of health item. For example, you just saw before, right? Or you never saw an enemy in Doom waiting for you to come. Right? Now here, they actually programmed it that way, that the Terminators uh, show strategic thinking like the Terminator waiting for you, right? He know he knows you're coming. He knows you gotta, you know, you got. He knows you gotta get past him, so he's gonna wait, and he fucking waits, right? You know what I mean? This kind of stuff. I mean, you could say this is uh, the <clears throat> how do I put it, man? This is this is some kind of programming that. Um, so the programming for third-person shooters took root in this game, right? Without Terminator. Um, let's say without how do I put it man how do I put it I mean it's a fact right this game was rooted this game is like you know one of the first games to implement that you know the enemies show strategic thinking Ooh, and these mines you don't see them in the movie at least not until Terminator uh, What's it called? Terminator, uh, you know, part, part four? Salvation, yeah. You don't see these things until Terminator Salvation. Um, you know, I was playing this game as a kid, and, uh, you're thinking, like, these things are alive, right? You know. So what they remind me of, they remind me of the Death Force in the MD Geist, part two, right? MD Geist 2 Death Force. So, you know, they, I, they were also inspired by this. You know what I mean? They were also inspired by this game. Ugh. Time to play this game, man. 
I mean, really, this game holds so many memories to me. Oh, shit. This game holds so many memories to me, and, uh... And I just wish, I just wish I had beat it as a kid. Oh, shit. I gotta concentrate, man. I gotta concentrate. Ooh, uh. The music isn't that good, I know. Haha, <laughs> that's his stomach, man. See, as a kid, I was thinking how many, how many times I played this. I mean, you know, like, I was thinking, man, like, what if these people have a cold? You know, see, what if someone needs, uh,. Penicillin, right? You know, there's no medicine. There's nothing. You know, if you get sick, so I knew this for a fact, right? That if you would get sick, you would die because there's nothing to heal you, right? There is no medicine, so you know, only the strong survive. Survival of the fittest, right? So you had to be, you, you, you know, you had to be really, really strong to survive in this environment. You know what I mean? You had to be really, really strong. So you saw Kyrie's in part one, you know, when, when Sarah bit him and he didn't feel any pain. And he was like, you know, the machine doesn't feel any pain either, right? And you had to learn to... <clears throat> you basically had to learn to fight against the machine, right? So you had to copy strategies from the machine, right? And, uh, you know. So he had to be very, very... Oh shit, look at that! Death Force, you know what I mean? Death Force. Ah. Oh shit! The controller fucked up. Alright, fuck that shit. Die! Ah, I can't shoot down. Uh, I need a health item. Wait a minute. Thank you. So I'm not as good as I was as a kid. Of course not. <clears throat> Man. just puts me in that position again, man, you know, like, ah, oh god, <sighs> where I put it, man, see, you got the expo, you got all this shit, you know, people advancing in their technology on, uh, <clears throat> advancing in their technologies, and I don't know, you know, they're showing off this stuff, and, uh, how do I put it, I mean, you know, the real success, I mean, where lies the real success in all of that, right? Where lies the real success? You know, you got, they build these robots, right? And you got this robot, and it's dancing, and then they build the next robot, and the robot is dancing. All they do is dance. The robot doesn't do any real work, right? So they create a machine with two feet, or with, you know, a pedal machine, a bipedal machine, a quad pedal machine, right? You know what I mean? And uh, all it does is dance. You know what I'm saying? All it does is dance, and that's fucking it. I mean, where lies the success in that? Like, yo, you wasted your entire life to build a fucking machine that just fucking dances. I mean, think about that. So then they have, like, I don't know, then they had a machine that diffuses bombs. And the way the machine does it is, you know, it's like a, it's like a miniature tank, basically, right? It's a miniature tank, it's very heavy. You know, it's very heavy and it can be remote controlled. Say you remote control this heavy motherfucker, right? And then it goes to the bomb and then it just touches the bomb and then the bomb goes off and that's it. Think about that. So it's not actually diffusing the bomb, it's actually more triggering the bomb from a, you know, and you're sitting from a safe distance and it's a machine that's just triggering the bomb. It's actually not diffusing it. So where is the real success in that? You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, you know, I play this shit again, I watch these machines, and I'm thinking, like, you know, I would... 
Man, remember in part 2 where was this black guy? And he actually, you know, created... It was actually because of him that these machines were created, right? The Terminators, the T-100. Right. Um... How do I put it? See, so yeah, you know, I, I look at this movie, I watch this shit, you know, I look at my life, I look at the direction I wanted, I wanted to go, and you know, how many barricades and stones were laid, you know, how many hurdles were laid in my path, and how many, how much, uh, rejectance I, I, I've been shown, right? And I look at this, and it just, it just, you know, shows me that, you know, what success is what success actually means right success is when you ch when you actually really change the world with something you created um yeah i mean that is that is success some say you know some differentiate between short term and long term success so uh i'm not like saying you know i, I wanted to promote this shit but the thing is like Creating an artificial intelligence uh, out of for, for a purpose that has a purpose, you know, that has a real purpose. I mean, not just dancing around. Think about that. And if it's not dancing correctly, then you then you throw it in the junk or in the trash. <laughs> oh, you didn't dance correctly. Oh, I gotta just I gotta calibrate that shit. Oh, please, no more dancing. That's so fucked up, man. You know. <laughs> You know what I mean? They spend their entire life doing shit, making a robot dance, and that's it. I mean, that is just so useless, don't you think? That is so useless. So that's all there was to it, right? You had some kind of guy who's good at math, and only good at math, right? And that's fucking it. Oh, that was a was that an atom bomb? No, it exploded. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it anymore, right? So I find it kind of underqualifying, right? If you're just if you're just a mathematician, and uh, I mean thinking about you know thinking about Terminator, man, you know you're thinking about the movie, you're thinking about the movie, you're thinking about the Terminator, you're thinking about Arnold Schwarzenegger, how he's supposed to be a machine and act as a machine, and then they do all this kind of shit, right? You know what what. You know, thinking like, what's going on inside the head of a machine, and they actually display it. What is supposed to go on inside the head of a machine? And there are like com dozens and dozens and millions of commands and applications. Millions of applications, think about that. Like, you know, okay, maybe not millions of applications, but you know, but yeah, I mean, think about it, man. Let alone the arm, the fingers, how they move, right? I mean, how many applications does that let alone have? The CPU. He was talking about the guy had one fucking CPU chip in his head. One. Only one. Only one CPU chip. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine something like that? One CPU chip as small as, I don't know, a fingernail? Or as small as a USB flash device? Yeah, here, plug this in and then the Terminator starts walking and talking. Can you imagine that shit? You know what I mean? So, you know, the, 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 in reality is like... How many fucking applications that machine has to have to act as a human? Or to appear as a human, right? Walking, grabbing stuff, talking. Talking, man. Moving the mouth, all this shit. You know, you, they show people, they have a robot, and the robot can only talk. Moves his mouth. And not even that is, you know... You know... You know, you you know it's a robot. Now here in this movie, or in this in this movie, right? They they show you they're supposed to show you robots that go through as humans, synthetic skin. You know, synthetic skin, muscle tissue, blood, right? You know what I mean? Blood, artificial, or yeah, I mean not yeah art. <sighs> So, you know, farmed blood, and uh, body temperature, all this stuff, all these applications, man. Oh shit, wait a minute. Ooh. I mean, where do I start, where do I end, right? Oh shit. Ah. I know, that was a good 
idea. They show you what's going. They're supposed to show you what's going on in, inside the head of a Terminator. And it's like you know, it's like a computer. You know, inside a computer, and it has one objective right on uh, at the top. There's one objective, and that is to kill Sarah Connor. And uh, these uh, Terminators have the objective to uh, to I don't know, find humans and destroy them. What's this? Oh, fuck it. Fuck that shit. Like I said, I used to speedrun this bitch. That means I used to jump over these things. You know what they also remind me of? They remind, remind me of the movie, of the movie, of the series Lex. If that makes any sense. These things, man. They kind of like remind me of that. Oh, yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm fucking up. This is not good. Okay. That shit. Ah! God damn it! Concentrate, boy. Concentrate. All right, we got it. All right, man, so we got this tank then now. Ah, shit! Oh shit! Right. I thought he was gonna like aim for me, but he didn't. Okay. He was just randomly shooting, man, like a machine, <laughs> like some cheap programmed ass motherfucker, man. Oh god, I don't want to die. I can't die. I'm not allowed to die. I got to have sex with Sarah. Say Kyle Reese is the father of John Connor. Oh shit. Please, don't let me die. Supposed to be Skynet? I don't know. We did it. Uh, bush. Los Angeles, 1984. <clears throat> hey, buddy. Laundry night? No clean clothes? God, the music is so terrible in this game. Alright, now we shoot the dogs. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be it. Alright. Oh 
Oh my god, this is gonna be it. Got these Mexican thugs, man. Everywhere. <laughs> Are you jumping around these buildings, man? It makes the fuck up, man. Really? They, I was like, they should have made. They should have. Uh, at, 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 first, at first, I was like, man, it's pretty cool, right? So what we gotta do here is we gotta go on each roof. We gotta go on each roof, and then like we gotta. Wait a minute. We gotta shoot these choppers, right? The way we shoot them is we can't move. And then the chopper flight, yeah, this is how we do it. And this is what we gotta do, we gotta go to each, okay. You gotta go to each roof. Oh my god. I need some health. Yeah, I need to find a health item. I can't. I don't know what's going. I don't know what's below me. Great. Ah. Okay. I think I can make that jump. I guess I'm supposed to make that jump. Now what? Please. Please. No, you motherfuckers! And now you gotta start all over again. Ah, uh, I think this game has no continues. Okay. Uh. How am you supposed to know that, man? How are you supposed to know where to go? Ah! He got me! That's not good. Look at this man! Crazy shit. Okay. Ah! Man, I'm, I, I gotta be concentrated right now. I already lost one too many lives. I can't die. I'm not allowed to die on this shit. Alright, next chopper. So we gotta do these chopper shit. We gotta do this chopper shit. Mm. Alright, that's good. 
Now we progress. Oh shit. Alright, I'm not gonna get that. I'm supposed to get that. Fuck it. I'm not gonna get it. I remember having a hard time getting it. That health item, right? Oh man, it's getting dark. No! Oh shit! Um... Fuck it. I'm not doing that. Ah! Where do I go now? Where do I go from here? I think we progress here. Yeah. Look at these choppers, man. Everywhere. LA chopper. That's right. I think we almost got it. We're almost at it. Ah! Fuckers. Okay. I think we're almost at the end. I'm not allowed to die, or else I gotta do everything from the beginning again. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I need some health, man. I need some health. Um... Can't go this way. Okay. Ah. Oh my god. Um, where do I go now?
Um, people, did I miss something? No! That son of a bitch! Now I gotta do everything over again. Oh my god, I almost had it! Ah! That one thug, man. You see, I got hit one too many times. Oh, God. Almost had it, man. See, you can't avoid these goddamn choppers, right? You can't avoid the gunfire. Alright. Oh man. Oh, the chopper took this guy with him. Come on, man. I got to make this. Hey, there's a one up. I'm obliged to get it.
So you can't just drop down from the roof or something here, right? You gotta use the ladders again. Alright, no fuck ups this time, man. Oh shit! Uh, you know what? I should have gone back there now and get. Oh, uh, now I know what I did wrong. I'm fucking up again. But you know what? I'm learning from my mistakes. Hard man, trial and error. I gotta get that extra life back. Oh shit. Man, where was that extra life? Over here, yeah.
Right. I gotta remember where that is and uh Alright. Time to get our winning chance back. Ooh, that was close. Alright, here we go. Okay, I gotta drop down there, right? Uh. Alright, I can take down one more chopper. Is this the right thing to do? Wait, no, 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 no. I can go back down here. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to risk it. Almost there. Oh. 
Where do I go? Hello? I died! Fuck! Like, come on, man! What? Can you believe this? Man. Fuck. Ah, great. Man, I think the police station is after this directly. This takes forever, man. God damn it.
I don't know, man. Alright, man, this is fucked up. I'm having a hard time here. Okay. It ain't as bad. You know, I gotta learn from my mistakes. That's it. That's it. Ah! He shot four times, son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, where was that extra life? Oh yeah. Now where do I go? I remember this being the end. I remember there being like a window. No! I was... I was jumping, man. I really was. I, really, I really was jumping. Oh, God. Oh, man, I'm losing patience. It's not making it any better. Oh, oh God, please. <laughs> I don't get it, man.
Ah, uh, wait a minute. Yeah. <sighs> 